everybody. Today we are going to be uh, comparing uh, nylon saddles against metal saddles. <laughs> on Instagram um, that anybody that has a vintage uh, 335 or um, any 335 that they have modded, they put or either have bought um, uh, a bridge that has uh, nylon saddles on them. And I noticed this with uh, any guitar that was around the 60s, I believe Gibson put... Um, nylon saddles on there, or not, I don't know, I, the research was very not, I couldn't really find much about the history of it, um, or comparisons, um, also this Dave Rule does this to all of his guitars, so, uh, I figured, you know, why not, I bought some, uh, from Philadelphia Luther, Luthier Supply, they were like seven bucks, super cheap, so yeah, let's do a little comparison, I'm going to do a clean pass, and a dirty pass. The dirty pass will be done with the uh, Centura uh, Centaur, um, which is like a clone thing. And I'll also be recording a DI, and that is so we can compare the um, uh, the actual sound just from the pickups. So, without any further um, delay, here is the metal saddles. clean. Here's the DI. Right now here it is dirty. Alright, now I'm going to magically put um, nylon saddles on this guitar and we'll see what happens. Alright, so uh, as you can tell, it's actually a day later because this was, um, these are harder to change out than I thought. Um, took a few hours by the time I uh, got them put on, ready to film. Neighbors were home and their kids were playing outside, so it was kind of noisy. So, yep. Um, so yeah, they're on. Uh, I got a rough intonation. Strings are the same besides the high E, the high E broke. Um, yeah, so let's see... Uh, See if it sounds any different. I'll do the same chord progression. So this is bridge pickup, clean. Alright, bridge pickup, DI. Alright, now bridge pickup with the uh, clon on. First will be the metal saddles, and second will be the nylon saddles. Alright, so, uh... To be honest, the sound difference is very minuscule. Minus, minuscule. There's not a lot of fucking difference. Um, the, uh, there's slightly less top end. The top end that was there was slightly brittle. Uh, 335s are bright guitars. I've never thought that was a problem. But, uh, I could see why you might want to do this. Um, just tame some of the early harsh top end. Uh, I guess another advantage is uh, it's self-lubricating as the strings go back and forth for tuning purposes. Um, Feel-wise, feels the same. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, 
didn't really think it was going to be a huge night and day difference, and it wasn't. Um, it's just kind of a cool, boutique-y thing to do, maybe. Um, yeah. I got these from Philadelphia uh, Luthier Supplies. If you'd like to try this, check it out. Uh, there are some other companies that make them as well. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you uh, heard any difference. Uh, and if you didn't, tell me as well. Peace.